Torp. <laughs> what? <laughs> um, semi-professional. Party, uh, <laughs> premier semi-professional. <laughs> Party before effects. <laughs> J what is please. going on, man? Are you okay? I know. <laughs> I'm dying. I'm dying. I'm dying. <laughs> I can tell. <laughs> oh, oh gosh. <laughs> Have you been to bed yet, JJ? Is that what it is? Wait, hold on, hold on, hold on. <laughs> <laughs> you sound insane. Oh, yeah. there's lava down the end of this tunnel. Welcome back again. I, I want to. I want to hear you say a Bodie one more time. <laughs> <laughs> He's gone. <laughs> JJ, you're like going in and out and in and out and in and out. It's like you're trapped in a revolving door. Oh, oh no. Oh, it goes wild. Oh, no, it's catching. <laughs> oh, my Contagious. gosh. It is. Oh, oh no. All of Australia's <laughs> been attacked. Yeah. Oh, wow. Wow. I was saying how I sounded like a poet. <laughs> Sorry. We all missed it because I, I needed you. Me when I leave and join the discord forced huh? by the internet in a ruthless world where cheese isn't free you know what actually when I was cutting in and out was better ruthless. <laughs> <laughs> a little charm to it <laughs> yeah. oh dear you make my voice go very weird <laughs> Oh gosh, nice. JJ, that I like is a hundred percent what a Coronazoiba sound like. Oh, I think I just threw my torches. Whoops. Like this? Yeah, <laughs> totally. I like it. You kind of sound like Venom, JJ. <laughs> That's evil. That is so evil. You won't believe it, guys. You won't believe it. I've just traded some uh, lanterns with the librarian to get him on another level, and his first. Enchanted book was seal touch, and the next level one is seal touch too. Oh yeah! Oh the wow! Cheaper. Wait, I, I oh, didn't don't know. Him. That's weird. I didn't realize seal touch two was an enchantment. Why is like copper so easy to find now? I know, isn't it? It's like crazy. Well, I think we're right. It is crazy. Right in your little mine here. I'm pretty sure this is a copper vein, but that's probably why it's so easy to find it around the granite. Ooh, copper! My goodness, I make you a spyglass. I don't actually know how to speak, make speak. one. Speak. Uh, apparently not like that. Two oh, ingots like that. and then a, then a crystal in the end. Bite glass. That's how Bite I made glass. it. Why Bite wouldn't you glass. let me make one, silly Minecraft? So complicated, this wall. It's so annoying to build. It looks magnificent, JJ. Yeah, it almost it looks like it's like made out of some runes. You know, like magical Ooh, rooms. Yes. What do you got back there, yeah, King Kong? In the back of room, it looks like I'm just dancing. Enjoy it's amazing. It. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the, the monkey with my <laughs> monkey. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, Johnny Bravo. Yeah, I was like, Honestly. I like. Oh, I was saying, I was like, how old are you? Let's dance the monkey. I forgot I was in Johnny Bravo all the time. That makes more sense. Yeah. JJ, you should go put on your ice bear skin. Oh <laughs> no. You should. You should. Oh no. Oh, I see. Of course, of course. Oh yeah, do no, no, don't put that on. I can't, I can't be distracted. I'm focusing right now. <laughs> <laughs> it is, uh, it's pretty distracting. It makes me, it makes me, yeah, it's, it's just distracting. Just don't the do it. The brows are yeah. pretty, pretty distracting. The, the eyebrows. That's so on fleek. Me and Fly just had a very strange moment, guys. We were staring uh, into each other's eyes. That is weird. Oh. Fly shield. Uses his shield to start dancing. Then he pulls out his eggs and throws them into my face. <laughs> Sixteen of them. That's like a whole brood. That's like Sixteen of them. Your, your own eggs? eggs? That's kind of what is oh that? It's murder, goodness. isn't it? No, no, no. <laughs> yeah, where did fertilized. you get the eggs from? Don't worry about it. And I am I really struggling to find diamonds. I'm just saying. So funny on you. 
Hello? I found a huge cave. What is it? What is it? I'm going to take a screenshot of it. Fortunately, it's really dark because I have no torches to light it up. Oh, you know what, Choppy? This one actually has like another, like a big cavern right below it, too. Dang it. Oh, no, man. You okay? Uh, yeah, that was kind of, that was dumb. I had the shield up and it somehow went through the shield and hit me. Uh, Do you need help to get your stuff back? Probably, because it's, I don't know exactly where it is. I mean, it's in the same cave, but, uh, yo, 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 let's yeah, go, let's go, let's go. Um, where? Okay. So we have to do this way. It was negative 300 and then negative 176, right? Is that right? Is there a way to get down through here? I don't know. I haven't been in here. Um, I can't tell actually. I might die again. Actually, I'm going to die. Oh, hold on. Woo! Magma block. <laughs> Take care, DJ. Okay, bye. It was fun. Yep. Bye bye. Bye bye. Okay, well, you know, I was able to um, get some stuff back here. I, I, yeah, that death was unfortunate, but um, I have a new set of armor and I was able to uh, get that Efficiency 5 book down in the mine shaft. That was pretty cool. And uh, thanks to Chop Chop uh, with his, some villager traders that he put together over there, I have uh, Mending and a Fortune 3 uh, book down there too. Um, but I want to get to 30 levels so I can get a, um, you know, just a unbreaking pickaxe because that is really handy to have even with mending. Uh, so, you know, I've been thinking about what to do today and I think there's another village that's up on top of that mountain, um, uh, by JJ's wall. I might make a couple of the, uh, weaponsmith and toolsmith trades just so I can start getting uh, some enchantments that way and uh, maybe some cool armor and uh, do just, you know, some cool trades that way. So let's go up there and do that right now. Okay, we got two toolsmiths going right here and um, this person we wanna change. This person, okay, this has the coal trade. So we're gonna do this because the coal trade is a good one to start off with uh, just because we can find coal up here in the mountain and uh, get a decent amount of emeralds going and then level this person up uh, because we want the iron tools and the diamond tools if we can. Now this one, let's go ahead and get rid of uh, this block right here and see if we can cycle the trade to get uh, coal trade over here as well. There we go. Okay. Knew we'd eventually get one. All right. Now both those folks are locked in and as we go mining, we should be able to get more coal and um, level them up and see if we can get some... Uh, enchanted iron and some uh, diamond tools but I did find down here a little cave this is where those uh, we had a couple of villagers up down here and this kind of continues this way uh, I don't know how far but I want to light it up just so we don't get any spawns uh, behind us as we're working yeah we have a, a little bit of a cave back here with a couple skeletons hanging around but a lot of iron. Uh, the higher up in the world you go, the more chance you get of uh, getting the iron spawns. Uh, so that is a change of 118. And uh, we'll, we'll stay up here. We'll take advantage of that because it'd be good to get some iron. Because uh, we'll need that uh, for, I think, the next tier, actually. Um, there's a good chance that it'll be an iron trade. And we can use that to level the guys up to the next level even faster. So I'm going to go ahead and grab this stuff here. And... Uh, I'll cut back if anything cool happens. Oh, and here we have some naturally occurring emerald ore. Uh, that's nice. Go ahead and get that. Now, oh, two. Be nice to actually have a um, fortune on my pickaxe, but I want to get a diamond one first with uh, the efficiency and all that kind of stuff on it. Actually, the um, unbreaking. These guys will be nice location here for us to get them. All right. 
kind of crazy. It's one of those noodle caves, I think is what they're called, or spaghetti caves. It looks like it goes up here to the snow. Yeah, and let's talk about powdered snow for a second uh, while we're here. Um, this is powdered snow. It is actually visually not easy to tell from the other snow, but when you walk inside of it, see those cold particles? It gets to the point where you start taking damage, cold damage. Uh, it's really easy to fall through. We can make a mob farm. We can turn skeletons into strays with this, or we can use it to actually, I think, kill some uh, mobs as well. Uh, but for the most part up here on this mountain, um, I kept on falling into these. See, there's the regular snow right there. Um, that's the powdered snow, regular snow. So just a slight variation, like this is smoother uh, with a gradient. That's a little bit more harsh. So this stuff you can actually stand on. Uh, but when you're walking around, it, it's not easy to always tell. Um, I was looking for the snow that was uh, gathered on top just because it was easier to see uh, which ones I could step on, like right there. I would fall down into um, like three or four deep and just had to like basically knock the snow out as quick as I could uh, so I could get around it. Um, and of course, if you have uh, leather shoes on, uh, leather boots, you can get around uh, just walking on top of them, kind of like you have snowshoes on. So I think while we're up here, we should probably go ahead and make a pair uh, just so we have it. And another thing you can know is that you can't um, actually pick up the powdered snow with a shovel. Uh, like if we do a regular snow block, if there is a regular snow block right here, it turns into snowballs like that. Powdered snow you have to grab with a bucket. And that's the only way to pick this stuff up. And you can also um, make your own powdered snow in cauldrons. Um, that is... Uh, Thing in 118 so I think this is all, all powder back here really I'm just looking to see if we have any coal or iron back here uh, more than anything else but this is what I was talking about like the snow layers um, if you see the snow layers and you can walk on those that's a good way to navigate around because uh, right there is the powdered snow if you um, don't have your boots with you I'll definitely say the mountains are a great place to get coal because yeah. Uh, we got a ton just right here at the surface. Not a problem. And we'll be able to advance this up to the next level here. It should be the iron trade, I believe. So let's check it out. Oh, where are you going? Back here. There we go. Iron. Uh, four, four for an emerald. This is actually, to me, this is the best way to get them up to the next level because it's quick. So let's go ahead and grab our iron. Let's see here. You? Yeah. All right. There we go. Uh, maybe more than 16. Let's see. Maybe 20. All right. So we got. All right, cool. Efficiency three, fortune one, and breaking three. That's a good shovel. And efficiency two, axe. It's not bad for three emeralds. Um, yeah, I'll take that. That's that's a that's a good one. Let's see, can we level them up even more? Let's see, it doesn't do that well. So let's go ahead and we'll grab um, one of these axes. And uh, do I wanna grab a shovel? I don't have enough right here on me, but uh, that is a good one. And we're getting them closer to leveling up to diamond, which is what we want. So we'll keep on working at this until we can get them to diamond and then see if we can get some uh, good tools going here. Okay, so it's actually six iron is what you need, uh, or not six, 24. So six times four. So we'll do that to get this person leveled up and uh, see what we have for the next level trades here. Efficiency two pickaxe, uh, that is actually pretty good. I think I will get that. And I did, um, I did buy the efficiency three, fortune one, unbreaking three shovel from the other um, iron worker or toolsmith, I mean. And that has allowed me to get a bunch of flint. So I can do this flint trade now for this person here. And uh, we can see how far that gets us. All right. So they want quite a bit of flint, 29. But it does level them up relatively quickly. So it looks like uh, maybe just a little bit four of those. So I'll probably need another stack and a half of flint in order to get that. And I have a whole bunch of gravel that I can keep on working through. Um, 
and then just a couple more emeralds i'll be able to buy this pickaxe which will also uh level them up even further too so um maybe just a couple more trades and we'll get this up to diamond level okay oh yes we finally got our nice little pickaxe let's see what it is efficiency two pickaxe for 18 that's not bad um we could actually buy two of those and make it an efficiency three uh, or we could just keep it efficiency two, uh, disenchant it and then re-enchant it and put that efficiency five on. So I think we're good. I just need to, um, level up some more of my, or level up, get some more emeralds here with Mr. Fletcher, because I have a little bit of a tree business going on here and he keeps on raising the prices, keeps on getting steep here. Uh, but we will have ourselves a diamond pickaxe before this day is done. Okay, let's see about that pickaxe. Okay, here we go. Alright, nice doing business with you, my friend. Okie dokie. So, some changes I made around here. I actually tore down a lot of the village and rebuilt, um, making it so I could protect the villagers a little bit easier. They always leave that door open. I'm not sure why. Uh, but there's a wall going around all the way. It's basically meeting up. Can they get over this? It's possible, but I don't think they can actually. Um, sometimes they're smart. <laughs> sometimes they can just walk out here and get out, but I think that's that's gonna keep them from being able to do that. But this wall goes all the way around, uh, just a simple stone wall. And I have a farm here. I move some sheep in, some cows. I, I move them down against that house. And I put some workstations, like you can see outside for right now. I built some of these newer houses out of ones that were back there. Uh, this goat keeps on jumping over the wall and then back in again, uh, which is fine. And I made this come around and there's like a retaining wall kind of right here. There was a church down here, but um, I use those bricks for other stuff. And I think I might put maybe another structure back here, uh, like a blacksmith, because uh, I do have a couple of the uh, grindstones so I can get some stuff going and maybe an armor or two if I get a um, blast furnace down as well. But I went ahead and since I have this one house up here isolated, it's a little bit larger. I, I'm kind of using this as my temporary base of operations and nothing special, just chests, a bed, crafting tables, you know, that kind of stuff. Um, but my, my plan is to turn this into a keep up here on the top of the hill and then have a nice defensive wall going around this complete village right here uh kind of protecting it uh because i want this to continue to be kind of like a um you know like a, a little like happy trading town uh for us uh, on the smp and up here on the meadow it's kind of nice uh, we'll have a view of JJ's wall over here. We'll be able to walk across that to the other mountain. He's going to put a road on top of there. Um, but this will be a good place for, I think, for uh, the uh, the SMP here for the rest of the cave crafters. But before we get too far along, uh, let's go ahead and go down to the village. Uh, there's an enchanting setup that Chop Chop put together. And uh, see what we can get so, since we have over 30 levels now on this as a base uh, 30 level enchanted pickaxe and we can always add oh let me oh, I'm thinking about it let me grab those books we can always add the books on top of it so probably take most of our levels to do it but then we can have a fortune three uh, mending uh, efficiency four or efficiency five and then hopefully unbreaking three is what I'm, I'm going for on the enchant so we'll see what happens with that I thought there might be a grindstone over here, but I wasn't sure, so I brought my own with me. Uh, so if we take this in here, and let's just go ahead, because I know we can get better than efficiency too, so we'll go ahead and put that down, grab those levels from there, and let's pop this in and see what we can get. Um, efficiency 4 is a guarantee, but I don't think I want that, so... What I might do is do a throwaway enchantment of efficiency one on this pickaxe that's about to break. And um, then see if we can cycle through. Or maybe I'll grab one of these and, and do that. That's why I chopped up, put them in here. And just see what I can get onto the pickaxe. So a little tip, if you don't get the enchantment that you're looking for as the, the guaranteed enchantment, you can always 
bring in a tool and, and take a low enchantment like this. So we got efficiency one on here. Um, it costs a level, but sometimes you can get a decent amount back when you take it back in here like that. Yeah, we didn't get it quite back, so just a little bit shy. Uh, but let's go ahead and check out what the um, enchantments are now for here. Still efficiency four. Um, all right, we're going to do it again. Still efficiency four. Now, it's just messing with me. It's just messing with me at this point in time. I want unbreaking three as the guarantee, so I know that that's what it is. So, uh, But I'm going to run out of levels here if I keep on doing this. So we got one more chance. All right, let's try this one more time. This in. Efficiency. Are you kidding me? It really is messing with me. It is totally messing with me. And I, I have like, like, oh, what am I going to do? I think maybe I can do one more. I can do one more. I bet it's going to be efficiency again. If it is, we're just going to have to go with it and see what happens. Because, I mean, efficiency for pickaxe is not a big deal uh, to have, obviously. Um, so let's go and do this one more time. Yeah, I can spend one more level on this, I think. All right. Efficiency two. Yep, I just have enough the levels there. Unbreaking three. All right. Thank, thank you, Lord. All right. We're going to go ahead and grab this here. And we got unbreaking efficiency four. <laughs> they really wanted me to have efficiency four. Well, you know what? I might as well keep it on there. I don't want to waste an efficiency five uh, on this. So we'll keep it there for now. But let's go over to the anvil and uh, go ahead and put these enchantments on. And the best way to do this is to enchant the books first. So we'll put the two books together. We'll do mending. Um, let's see, so it's six this way. If we do it the other way, it's two. So we'll go ahead and grab the, the two enchantments. And now we can put this on here. Cost is nine. And we have efficiency four and breaking three, fortune three, mending pickaxe. Uh, that's good. We have efficiency five. We can always put on at a later time. Not a big deal. Um, ideally, we end up having silk touch on a diamond pickaxe as well, which I, we do have a silk touch villager in here. Um, this dude right here. Nope, that's fortune right here. Mending. Nope. Silk touch on this end. Double silk touch. So if you want to pay $13 for Silk Touch or $17 for Silk Touch, it's, it's you know, it's yours to buy. But we have that there, we, so we can we can definitely get that um, at some point. It would be good if I'm making uh, stone bricks instead of uh, smelting everything to use Silk Touch on stone and then just convert those to stone bricks. Uh, that's a lot easier to do. I may I may end up doing a Silk Touch here before too long. Let's go ahead and um, let's reclaim a level here. Our pickaxe. Here we are. Yeah, we'll put it back here. Put this back in here like that. Okay. And uh, there we go. And with that, I think we're going to call this episode to a close. If you've enjoyed what you've seen and like to see more from the dad's guy in the future, you know what to do. Click that like button, smash the subscribe button, and press that notification bell. Uh, I know this wasn't a really exciting episode so much. We, you know, we, we died. That was exciting. Um, and uh, we went ahead and did that village makeover just so we could get some decent trades going and have a, just a safe base to work from going forward. And we have a really good pickaxe. So when we go underground uh, and we're mining, we can get um, the ores at a better rate. So we can get the diamond and the iron and the copper and all those great, nice building ores that we love to use. But until next time, this has been Dad's Guide. Bye for now.